You could say Steve Roberts has a terminal case of wanderlust. It started more than six years ago in Columbus, Ohio, when he was writing and consulting. Working as hard as I could, trying to pay for a lifestyle I didn't like, in a city I didn't like, in a climate I didn't like, and I thought maybe it would be a better idea to take all my passions and build a lifestyle out of them. Robert's lifestyle now revolves around his recumbent bicycle, home, office, and transportation in one tidy package. In his travels, computer in hand, he's already covered 16,000 miles, chronicling his adventures in a book. The next chapter will be written after Silicon Valley, where he stopped over to build Winnebiko 3, part of the new package for he and his companion, lightweight, low-tech trailers. You start with a cardboard base and using fiberglass to waterproof them and uh, carrying communications gear and personal gear, camping things, computers and cats. Venus Biscuit's trailer ride won't have the options Roberts will. In his last trek, Roberts put keypads on his handlebars. He wrote while he rode, sending his electronic mail by telephone modem. This will be Steve's mailbox this time around. This little board will allow his bike to receive satellite transmissions, bring that information up into the display where he can read it, and then he can turn around, compose a letter while he's writing, and send it right back. Satellite tracking software allows him to send ham radio and television signals around the world. That software is in one of the six linked computers in the bike. There's a heads-up display in my helmet now, which is attached to one of the computers that allows me to generate maps. Uh, uh, ETAC has come out with a map database on CD-ROM, and I can use that plus uh, the input from the GPS satellites, navigation satellites. The track only starts with technology. There's a world of experience Steve and Maggie will share. My family is spread all over the world and is very, is always available electronically. In Silicon Valley, John Crump, KNTV, the San Jose News Channel.